Hey guys, welcome back to D&D &D with Filthy and Friends. A uh, quick recap of last episode. The party uh, discovered this central area of the monastery. Uh, the paladin, upon checking his, uh, his divine sense, found that this area was a desecrated shrine of some sort that once had holy impact and now was uh, being uh, subverted to some sort of dark purpose. Um, the plan was to sneak in and try to get some to sneak in dressed as prisoners uh, with one one party member leading to try to get some information out of the priest. Uh, but Thaddeus, upon seeing the, the defilement of this area, just lost it and rushed to attack the priest. Uh, a quick combat, uh, quick and very bloody combat ensued. And at the end of this combat, with the priest backed into a corner, Thaddeus on his last ounce of, of HP, with his last bit of will and effort, called upon the aid of his god and beat the living crap out of this priest uh, with saving the party, essentially. Um, during this, from a kind of now out of the narrative moment, uh, our GM uh, offered us a new mechanic that apparently was meant to have been described earlier, but has now come out kind of kind of interesting timing uh, with his, each of us is going to be granted apparently for this campaign, one inspiration. And this inspiration is essentially some really cool thematic thing our character can do once. And the idea is that basically as you can see him putting text into the, the chat over there. The idea is that this is something above and beyond what a character could normally do. And if it's themed correctly with the character, it's supposed to give these um, a moments of, oh, wow, that's so cool uh, impact for the player. And of course, you guys as the viewer as well. Um, I want to be clear that it's not an I win button. This is um, this was a little bit of conversation we were having off camera here. Apparently that priest was down to three health anyways, and Thaddeus was about to kill him. So really he just burnt a one-time campaign consumable resource for three damage. But in the moment, it was exactly actually kind of worked actually worked exactly as intended from the DM's point of view, I imagine, which is Thaddeus feels that he is in this moment of do or die. He calls upon divine aid. That divine aid comes out in this really kind of cool, you know, in this case, bolt of divine light from the heavens, shattering his enemies around him. Uh, and in this case, it did three damage, but nevertheless had that impact. So the plan from the DM, I think, is to give us a couple of these moments across the course of a campaign. And I just wanted to explain, I'm learning it for the first time, but I also wanted to explain to you guys kind of what's going on with that. So I think we're going to continue from there. I don't suppose, Thaddeus, that in that moment when you called upon your god to help you smite this guy, you thought about taking prisoners so we could get some information. Um, mm, that was unnecessary in this case. There's nothing to learn from these flaking boils of pustulence. Huh. Well, what happened to the other guard? He the one died. Was, he just died? Apparently. He's laid on the floor, completely unconscious. Okay, unconscious, oh, but not oh. off. From what you can see, he could be dead. No one's okay. checked him, so. And it's completely dark in there, so only really Chuckle can see him. So. Uh, All right, Chuckle. On my, turn, on my turn, I flee. I see Sniven walking in, talking to me. I go, ah! And I just sprint, <laughs> drop my polearm, sprint towards the corner of the room. Like, he's the most <laughs> horrifying fucking creature I've ever seen in my life. And, and after this this happens, after it happens, Sniven will dismiss that. Uh, oh my and god. Don't you forget it, you bastard. <laughs> what was that, Sniven? Never do that again. That was horrible. Wow, what what did you do to the to the ceiling? What Oh yeah. The, the what on earth happened to here? My oh, yeah. lord came upon me. I'm sorry, my friends. <laughs> Phrasing. I, I, I could not stop myself. In fact, this reminds me of the time Greybeard took a potion he thought would cure his softening member, and it fell right off. Well, not immediately, mind you. First, it turned black as the boots on the high fiend of hell. It was a visit. Never mind. Well, thank you for that, as, Thaddeus. Uh, Thaddeus is talking. You can all see that his like any scars or wounds from this like battle and uh, entering the monastery just seem to be like being healed from his skin. What? I'm being cured uh, too. Give me some of yeah, that. You, you go to full. I'd health. like to run yeah. over and and touch touch his shoulder <laughs> <laughs> and concentrate on what's happening here. If I can like enter a meditative trance or something to try to understand. You're just trying to soak up my points, I know. That's right. So I'm going to go pick up my pole arm, and I will um, put my amulet back in my shirt with darkness. Tim feels a calming, soothing presence sort of wave over you, Tim. 
Can Sniv and see if this guy's alive? Uh, are you checking his pulse? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Oh, what a shame. Uh, Steve, Steven, you go to half hit points. Is he got to talk to you often, Thaddeus? My lord. He feels my inspiration and my faith. And he comes to put an end to the miseries that we all suffer. Let's bow our heads for a moment. I will. Is this a dwarf-only club, or uh, can other people just break buildings in half, too? Amen. Shut up, you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> amen. That's beautiful. You, you, you about to be a high elven follower of uh, Merv and <laughs> <Murray, laughs> you know? That's beautiful. Well, I'm highly considering it, I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> my god didn't seem glorious. to be around in that fight. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. Need, need to have a lot of muscle to to break open a building just to shine a light on a shield. All right. Okay. I, I'm, I'd like to pick up my shield and the um, keys that yep. sure. Cabo dropped. All right, I'm going to, yeah. as everyone's sitting around, else. if you guys are done nattering over there, we got to get moving. No one's going to have missed this in the entire fucking building. With this roof coming in and this ginormous ray of light and thunderclap, we need to go find this abbess before before either more people show up or she gets away and find out what the hell is going on in here. Has my well, familiar seen any evidence that anybody's no. trying to escape? All right. Does the police um, or any of the guards have any valuables on, of any kind? Well, we haven't. I've been deliberately not looting yet. I mean, certainly you can oh, do that, okay. but because of the timing, I know there's a bunch of rooms we haven't searched and a bunch of corpses, and it would be really nice to do that. But first, I figure like this is this is all happening within you know each of these fights is like four rounds at six seconds. So we've had like all of this ten has happened in, in about the building. ten minutes or twenty minutes in the building, right? So I figure afterwards we can take the time to search everything just thematically for what we're doing already. Okay. All right. So then south. Uh, well, so, I, no, yeah. Let me poke my head down the staircase first, because where the hell okay. does this go? Okay. And and there's a super weird lever that might be really dangerous if we trip it or don't trip it. Yeah, you might want to have a quick quick look at that lever, see if you can figure out what it's hooked to, and I'll have a quick look down here. So as I head down these stairs, do I see anything of interest? I'll keep my I'll pop my armament back out again, so I'm protected by or surrounded by magical darkness. But I'll head down the stairs. Okay. Um. Two seconds. Okay. <clears throat> the floor of this large chamber consists of loose red earth. A column of natural stone stands near the middle of the room and a row of sturdy iron bars with a sliding cage door, which is currently shut, walls off the western portion of the room. A door of iron plate stands in the western wall behind the iron bars, while a similar door exits to the east to the south. A wide set of stairs leads up, which is what you are descending from. Uh... And if I just reveal this. I don't know what you're revealing. Oh, um, yeah. un underneath the main map is a second map. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, cool. All right, and those are, okay, those are the stone doors you described. All right, so nothing of immediate stress. Oh, you shit. You roll uh, history? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, zero. Okay. A very large beetle like creature is trapped behind these bars. Does it react as I come down? I'm in the magical darkness, it may not see me. Does it react as I step down? It can't. It, all it sees is a black cloud, right? So. Okay. Um, depends what other senses it has, I guess. All right. Uh, I'm going to come back upstairs and say uh, there's some really fucking huge, scary beetle down there, but it's behind some bars. I say we deal with the abyss and come back. Monstrous creatures? I know, Tim. Hold your horses. We'll get back to it, I promise. Could I take a peek? Sure. Can I um, identify oh what that is? I, I, um, I, I want to do it just stealthily, like, but I need check off to move. No. Look, get out of the way, mate! I want to have a, have a little it's look. It's a 20-foot wide staircase. Okay. Yeah, but he's talking about the darkness that's emanating around Chakol, so that's I'm... why he... Well, if Chuckles upstairs and you're downstairs, it's kind of okay. Oh, I don't want back. to go downstairs. I don't want it to see me. Okay. If it's you're going to struggle I'll... to see it unless you go into that room. 
I'll come upstairs. And I'll tell him what I said, and I'll say, and I'll say, good luck, Tim. So, um, uh, I'd like well, to make a well, minor illusion of a, of some sort of meaty creature at the bottom of the stairs that it can see, and see if it reacts to that. Okay. Let's see. You don't see anything happen or hear anything happen. All right, I'm going to walk down the stairs with my great bow out. Or longbow. Okay. Starts bashing on these iron bars as you get down, but they seem to be pretty sturdy. What do you want to do? You want to identify it? or like... Yeah. Okay. You want to roll history or survival, whichever one you feel is best. Or that you're proficient in, I guess. I. They're actually the same okay. for me. This looks like a cross between a gorilla and a beetle. It's got uh, a big set of mandibles on its hands. It's got four eyes. Uh, you don't think you've seen this before? Or heard of it in enough detail to know what it is? Cool! A new kill! And now Chakold is going to spend the next eight rounds shooting arrows at it. Sorry, what was it? I missed <laughs> no, what it was. T Tim is. Uh, yeah, Tim, Tim. It's a. It's never. It's a... You never kill a trapped creature. You trap it so you can let it go and kill it once it's free. <laughs> so we can beat the shit out of you as you're trying to kill it. So while he's doing that, I'd like to um, use some combination of my perception and my dwarven stonework knowledge mm -hmm. to figure out what this lever does without actually activating it. Okay. So, do you walk? Do you walk past the altar as you do that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So as you walk past, you just glance to the side, um, see the altar, uh, because um, you're... hang on, um, oh. Chakolth is in front of it. I don't know that I. I put my image away so you can see. It's in my. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So as you go past, uh, because you're a dwarf, you kind of notice this immediately. Um, <clears throat> there are runes written, or there were runes, I should say. That were carved into this uh, altar, and it looks like they've been, you know, carved out and smashed out. But you can still see the remnants of them, and you know that this place used to be dedicated to Moradin. Oh goodness! Um, and you can just, you know, as you're glancing, you kind of see that. I don't know whether you would react to that before you got to the lever. Um, you get yeah, to the lever. I would. Oh, um, I would totally stop and um, remove anything that's on the shrine that shouldn't be there, and throw it into the corner and um hmm. so yeah. there's like a like a red cloth uh, dagger that's got some stained blood on it a small pot that seems to have like little bones from some kind of small creature and you just cast all these aside and then i'll i'll swear to moradin that i will come back and reconsecrate this altar as soon as the danger is passed and Great. then continue on to the lever okay Inspecting the stonework and looking at the way the leather is and just kind of, you know, getting a feel for it. You can sense that this is connected probably to something below, directly below this room. <laughs> yeah, call me crazy, but that's almost certainly going to let the thing out. They call that the beetle button? The beetle yeah. button. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go find this abyss. We can, this, the mysteries of this creature can wait. I agree. Okay. Uh, do you want to, Stimmon, do you want to take a peek into the garden to give us another exit like you did in the previous room? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, Adam, would you please um, drop his his uh, darkness circle just so that I don't think I'm always thank you? No problem. Uh, that door's open. So you open it like your, I guess you just check if it's unlocked and it is. Right. Okay, cool. I'm not, don't, don't actually want to open it. That's sure. full of gargoyles. Oh, right. So there's actually a good reason to to leave it locked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's full of statues. Statues, guys. They might not be I was gargoyles. the only one who looked at those. I'm going to walk over to the door and lock it. <laughs> okay. And Bad goblin. If the party is consist convinced that that door needs to be unlocked, I'm going to do it stealthily so they don't see. All right, that's fine. Okay. All right, let's get moving, though. Well, we still have uh, darkness on our side. I say. 
<laughs> we that's still have clunky, on Earth. That's that's really clunky. What's this? The the darkness for like spell casting mm-hmm. for sight. Mm-hmm. It's really bad with counter spell. <laughs> so this is a giant door. It's copper, uh, like bars are going across it and all around the edge. And there's these two large uh, triangle symbols again carved into the wood. Right. Amulets inside. Uh, can't take many more of these. We got to get to the abyss and figure out what the hell's going on. Just try and open it. Who opens it? That is. Um, there were a whole bunch of doors downstairs. Do we want to go like pound spikes into them or do anything just before we move on? The, there's, weren't they sliding? I got the idea they were like sliding cell doors or something downstairs. You're talking in the basement, right? Yeah, yeah. There, so there was there's... a set of 20 foot stairs up here that would lead down and mm-hmm. then they led into those other two stairs you can see so it's one set of stairs that just goes all the way down into that pit. Yeah, but in the pit, there's the beast, the, the ring with the beast, and then there's a door on the right as well? Yep. Okay. Um, I guess I guess my suspicion is that is where the creatures of interest are. I'm not too worried about them showing up right now. I think we might find the abyss under duress of some sort. Okay, so onward. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. After we killed all uh, our monks, too. Right. I will uh, open the door and look into the hall. Okay. The door is open. And any any fresh monks? Not that you can see. All right. I will start heading toward the door. Any fresh monks? Uh, no, this corridor is uh, just empty of life. So do any of us have any inkling that these gargoyles are going to come to life? Not that I'm you... not willing just... to live afraid of every statue I walk past. Agreed. Okay. Can I... So, uh, you get to here. Uh, uh, you would get to there, and you'd get to there. Yeah. And one of them comes to life. And you know. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your god is giving you humility right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, I, think, I think you guys know what's going to happen. All right. Uh-huh. Maybe I need the text magic people. prepared. It's a useful, it's a very good spell. No. But okay. I mean, we could also just tell, but maybe if I'd cast the spell, <laughs> my party <laughs> would have realized. <laughs> no, I, t- I take um, I take uh, Jesus, that is his point here. Like, you can't be this. You can't be hideously scared of every statue. You just hit it. If you think it's going to come to life, you just hit it. And if it comes to life, then you're glad that you hit it, and then you kill it. You just walk around everyone's house, like, and you're in some guy's trash. house. Man! Pink! Pink! <laughs> pink! <laughs> that's a nice, you that's a nice sculpture of your wife. Boom! Kitchen staff. <laughs> killing the kitchen staff. All right. Uh, gargoyles. Oh, this is great. This is just wonderful. They've spun on okay, either side so of these you. These two gargoyles come up. <laughs> uh, they attack Sniven. Um, Sniven has... Was that surprised? Did they get oh, free absolutely. attacks? So, 10, 8, 22, and 6. Yeah, I have 16 AC. Okay, so 22 hits. Which one was that? That was 4. That's the wrong one. <laughs> 4. Okay. You take... Oh, there we go. How long is a short rest? An hour. An hour. Like an hour. Uh, ah, six, I know, it'd be so great. Six, okay. Yeah. That's it? And it's your go? I only well, yeah, took... they're, they're going to hit you with one. Oh, okay. Look at you. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. They oh, get another I'm not, go I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh, that was their surprise round. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. And so only two of them came to life? So, like, the furthest right one and the furthest left one did not come to life? Yet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, and like, can is there some kind of description of like, do, do they look like they're made out of flesh now, or are they still just stone? They're are still they... uh, stone in composition. Okay. Oh boy. Fear's not going to do anything. Cold person's not going to do anything.
Okay, I think I'm going to take the dodge action. Okay. You and... Want... Yeah. What's up? You want to stay there? Well, if he moves, they get attacks anyway, he right? He can disengage. Uh, oh. I, I, I disengage free as a... Uh... Oh, as a goblin. Oh, yeah. Right. Good, good, good. Oh, well, actually, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's that's better. That's better. But so I won't take the dodge action. So because of the, um, I'll just link it. It's basically I um, as a, a, as a bonus action I can cast disengage or hide because of a goblin. Cool. So that just lets you like move without being hit, right? Right, basically. Right. Okay. And then I'll like move there. And then you get your standard etc. Yes, standard action. No matter what I try, you guys always have something. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's great. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> no, this is no, like, good. Not, not kill you, but like, you know, right. like, I'll, I'll jump on Sniven. He's the weak one. No, he's on. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and then I'll vicious good, mockery. Because I get to learn one. each of your like, facets that each character has, so I'm going to learn how to overcome them. Yep. It's not us versus you. Know. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. All right, so I'll do vicious mockery on the one closest to me. So tell us how you insult a gargoyle. I was just going to say that. <laughs> it's like, what, what, it, 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 was that an ambush? That, that was nothing. Get out of here. Stone, you look like wood to me. <laughs> That's wisdom, right? Yes. Okay. 18? <laughs> so he takes two, is it? Yep. And then uh, it's their turn. This thing, these things just slowly turn and grind around. And uh, this one just moves straight towards Chuckle. Smack! And this one as well. All right. Uh, uh, you get to hit them. You get to hit them when they start within 10 feet? Uh, when they move into... No. When they move, right? I guess because he moved through the five-foot space he does, right? He just gets the same reaction as a normal person would. Uh, let me go read it again. I'm curious. I think so. But anyways, uh, go ahead and... Oh, I read... Does 17 hit? Uh, 17 hits, yep. Okay. 14 slashing. Okay. Uh, what does resistance mean? Uh, half 15. damage. Okay. So this doesn't seem to be doing as much as you thought. I have a med... My pack weapon counts as magical. Oh, okay. So it does seem to be doing what you think. <laughs> uh, what's that? Okay, and then uh, 16 and a 14, do they hit you? Uh, the 16 does, the 14 does not. You take 7 slashing. Okay. It just claws you across the chest. There's my con save. Perfect. Kevin? Yeah. Alright, so I can... What is that? 1, 2, 3... It doesn't look like I can get between them, because it takes a double move to um, to move through Chakolth, right? Right. Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, you'd need thirty-five, I guess. Yeah, and I've got twenty-five. Five, 10, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Now you get to there. I've yeah, only got twenty-five. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna um, just stop there. And beat the one that's uh, that's okay. facing me. Oh. And the other two still haven't come to life. Correct. Okay. As soon as you see a token, then you know it's there. Maybe they're just statues. And just I be don't... really quiet, and they, they won't have... wake up. They were a little short have... on cash. They didn't want to feed four gargoyles. They went with two. Right. There you go. And I don't have advantage or anything, so I just get to hit him, I think. Okay. Oh, but I do get two attacks. That's the thing I get. Yep. Okay, 19's enough as well. But he's a bludgeoning. Yeah. Okay. So that's, uh... What's that? 23? 23? Taking chips out of him? Is it round up or down on, uh... Down. Down? So it would be, uh... Seven and four, I guess. Seven and four? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, I'm ten. doing half damage, hey? Yeah. Yeah, you well, see, right like, that. They, these are just very, you know, structurally sound, and you can tell, you know, with your stone knowledge that this, your attacks just aren't really doing as much as you'd expect them to. 
This is a green flame blade. Although Meanwhile, it misses. Tim's blade literally bounces off him. Oh! <laughs> the green sort of turns to a little bit of brown. <laughs> okay, do you so, get another... Oh, you're not hasted, right? So I'm not hasted. not going to use anything okay. like that. Um, Filthy? I did look it up. It is uh, when they enter my op my enter my reach, I get attacks. But I assume they entered my reach when they attacked Snibbin. If they didn't, because they didn't, they don't just appear in my reach, right? So they they moved from that form. So I guess I don't know if I get that attack or not. The previous one. So it... uh, well, he was, yeah, he moved from there to there, right? And he moved from there to there. So when he moved there, you got your first reattack, right? Okay, I'm just saying, okay. Yep. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna uh, pull out the uh, amulet out of my shirt. So darkness around us. I'll move to here, uh, since they, they can't opportunity attack me when they can't see me. Maybe they can see me in magical darkness, but if they can't, they can't do that. I'm... So they both take a swing at you? Oh, fuck. I haven't left their uh, their their uh, areas yet, and I'm not attending right. to that yet, but I'll do that in a minute. But okay, I'll, I'll still go through with that, but I wanted to move over, sure. attack one, then move further away. So I'll attack the okay, one um, next to uh, the dwarf and the elf, mm -hmm. and I attack with... So he's not blinded, so I don't attack with advantage. Correct. Uh, these have dark vision, so how does that work? Okay, this is magical darkness. People with dark vision can't see through it, so they're okay, still so blinded. Let's see if he's got anything else. Nope, they don't. Okay, okay. so it's just normal then. That's fine. Okay. Uh, why doesn't this give me? So they don't get to hit you. Okay. So how would I ever? You need a creature. Blind sight. Uh, true sight will do it. Uh, blind sight will do it. Anything uh, like tremors. I think there's a number of. There's devil sight is the one I use, and then anything that lets them see without different senses. So no. that's okay. 25, so the first 25 one. is enough. Yep. Okay. Uh, the second one is a uh, 23. Yeah. And the third one is a uh, crit. Crit. Cool. All right. One. Sad. <laughs> yeah, sad face indeed. Okay, so that will be uh, that's, that's five of my movement, and then ten and fifteen. Okay, I guess it'd be there, wouldn't it? Okay. No, I'm sure. Sorry, I'm sure sure keep them in the oh, darkness, oh. but not my teammates. Yeah, that's fine. I can see that. Okay, yeah. you'd be like here, I guess. Okay. Silo. I have nothing that's useful against these guys. Disadvantage on attacks is always useful. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, it just has to be a vicious mockery again. Okay. Although I guess it's oh, less useful one. when they're in the darkness. Right. Can he see them? Actually, I can't see them if you moved there. So I can't even do that. Uh, does it require you have sight of the target to do that? Because I, I don't know how it... I mean, every spell does, essentially. Like, the, the, like that's sort of the thing. It's is very that, what, what is the target? Them. One yeah. creature that you can see. If it was like an AOE, you could point at the floor and you right. know that it hit them. But if it's okay. a direct spell like that, I would say that you can't see them. I guess okay, if dark so vision doesn't do it. So. But I, okay, I guess so... it's kind of weird because if if I if if an archer is shooting at me, they they shoot at disadvantage. But they don't. They're not unable to target me. Does that make okay. sense? So and all the melee are the same deal. Like they can't see me, but they can still swing at me. They, that's why they get mm -hmm. the disadvantage. So I guess I don't know how that works for a targeted spell that's not an AOE. Well, especially here. since it's a, a a vicious mockery. He's yelling insults into a dark area. Yeah. I'm okay. almost certain that I have to be able to target it. Okay, so like, that's fine. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to pull out a rapier, and then I'm going to stand up there, and then I'm going to swing into the darkness where I think the guy is mm -hmm. with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. No, you don't have disadvantage from doing that, because he's blinded, so he is, they cancel each other out. You can't but see I can't him. see him. I understand. Oh, okay. But, but gotcha, you have gotcha. advantage versus targets that are blinded. Gotcha. Okay. So it's neutral for you. Ah. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. So 17 is enough. That's piercing. And then I'm going to move back knowing that he can't do attack of opportunity on me because he's blinded. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, there you go. He moves to here. So can they see out? Yeah, they can. Or could no? They because they're still in it. They yeah, get they're disadvantage. Blinded. Yeah, and I right. hit him when he moves okay. out of my reach. Okay, you do that. Okay. Uh, so these. This is going to be against. This is Kevin. This twenty-four hit. Yeah, definitely. 
Okay, so against Kevin, it's a <laughs> it's a one and a two. That's fine. Those miss. Uh, uh, I feel like not even rolling against Tim because his I don't have is so high. He doesn't have, have all have his buffs or blades on. Is he not? Okay, let's have a look with disadvantage. Let's... Plus, aren't you got you... that one in four hundred double crit. Right? Aren't you aren't you really really low health right now? You got a half heal from that god. So a nine. And I have five temp. And another one. That's so annoying that one of them rolled a crit and a <laughs> fail. So he got a one and a crit. And it has to take the one. That's the sure. disadvantage. Doing Love the work. It. Okay. Uh, I have a quick question. Uh -huh. yep. um, if he attacks someone other than me, I can hit him, except I can't see that you he did it. You aren't blinded, or... right? You aren't blinded. And he's in melee with you. But okay. you saw a claw come out of this area and hit your friend. So does that mean I do get a free sentinel shot at him? You're not blinded. That's what removes your ability to to opportunity attack is blinded. Right. So and yes. even, if you, even if you can't see him, like if you can't see him, then that just means that you would be attacking at disadvantage. And because he can't so, see you, that cancels out. So you attack him, right. you attack him as an opportunity at normal. Right. I, I just wasn't sure I would know he had attacked even in order to trigger it. I kind of see the claw come out and like All right. Tim's face. Then I'm going to... Some fucking gargoyle in there is attacking my friend. Yep. So you see the claw come out and you're like, I'm going to chop that claw off. Yeah. I'm going to okay. pound him in his claw. Mm. Okay. Uh, then it's your go, Kevin. Lovely. I'm going to keep pounding. I'm going sure. to hit the one that uh, I've already hit, though. On the left. Yep. Uh, the top one. So that's one. Yep. Okay. And Jesus. twelve will hit uh, miss rather. Okay. It's really nice seeing how good duelist is there. Like, there's a really consistent damage out of him. I really like it. Tim. Steven? I will attack again with a green flame blade. Okay. Which one are you, are you hitting the top one again? or the I'm bottom? hitting the one in front of me, and it's bouncing to the top one. Sure, okay. So that's... Oh, and the rapier damage. Five. And four. You can add that if you want, Steve, to the macro. There's a, a slot in the damage for uh, two di for extra damage types. So you can do like a piercing one and a uh, whatever the green fire damage type is in the same one. Healthy? Okay. okay, I'll do that. Uh, I will uh, take a text on the one in front of Tim, I guess. Is that the one that... Whichever one uh, Thaddeus has been attacking, that's the one I want to attack. I don't know which one sure. it is. The top one. You need one. to, you need to move forward five feet. Okay. I'll move forward five feet and attack the gargoyle on top. Uh, all right. That is a 22 to hit. Yep. Okay. And Eight. then... Again, and mine is not halved because it's magical. Mm -hmm. uh, 26. Yep. Okay. And then the halved. At, uh, let me just roll for the crit, I guess. Uh, 26. Mm -hmm. Okay, for five. Okay. All right. Okay. So you, as you hit it with the half right at the end, it just seems to like freeze in place and then just sort of fall to the floor lifeless. All right. And then I will back up to there to cover them in the darkness but not my teammates sure okay Dado? uh i probably did i see the gargoyle die you can hear like a thump on the floor okay then what the hell i'll just attack the other guy okay yeah that's enough 12 nice. 6 and I'll back up. Sure. And then it's their turn. It, if it wants to get out of the darkness, Adam, it can do that. You don't provoke... I guess you'd provoke opportunity for moving away from the dwarf, but you can move around a character. So it's going to slide to here? Yeah. So the dwarf and hits then, it, though. Uh, but I get opportunity if he does. Yeah. Sure. That's fine. Okay. So I use Sentinel to attack him and miss again, Sentinel. <laughs> Uh, 21 and a 23. On Attacks out of me. Yeah. I'm going to use shield. Does that stop them all? Um, no, I still get hit by the 23. Okay. 
Whoa, you take... it didn't take my spell slot away when I clicked that. You hmm. take uh, six slashing. All right. As it slashes you with its club. Okay. They don't <laughs> hurt that, at least. That's good. And then, Kevin? All right. I will get between him and Sniven again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to hit you as you stand there. Why? It's... It doesn't get to attack as... Unless it has some special... Because he moved into this space, and then he moved down into this space. Yeah, but so you can do that. It's, it's, it's leaving. leaving. Oh, no, wait, that's fine, yeah, isn't it? Because you're not leaving, are you? Yeah, yeah right. sorry. I keep forgetting. I wasn't sure if it was a special yeah. ability, so... I oh, know, that's right. Thank you. So I'm okay? Yeah, yeah, carry on. All right, so just two attacks. 13 misses. 20 is fine. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Uh, Steven? This gargoyle is, like, floating, or kind of hovering in front of him. Um, I will... I'm gonna disengage. Okay. And I'll shoot an arrow at it. Great. Or I'll cantrip it. I'll use a Ray of Frost. Okay. So disengage is an action. Oh, I disengaged. I disengaged. Never mm -hmm. mind. Okay. I'll stand here. That's fine. Great. You could non-viciously taunt it. You could just regular mock it. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll uh, I'll move in and uh, attack it again. Uh, with so the first is a twenty-three. Yep. The second is a. So it's for twelve. The second is a twenty-seven to crit. She'll do eleven less than my non-crit. Makes me feel <laughs> bad, man. And then the uh, third will be. How does that happen? I just <laughs> dice roll double and the third one's a oh, crit as well. One. All right, that does nine. Okay. okay. Wow. Perfect. So similar to before, you slam it with the glaive and this sort of chaos energy. Uh, oh, wait, you're not using that yet. So you just hit it again normally and it just sort of freezes again and sort of tumbles and falls to the floor. All right, I'll pop the amulet back in my shirt as a uh, reaction. And... My darkness duration is only 10 minutes, and I used it right before we entered the, the combat with the priest, so if you could tell me when 10 minutes is up, that would be ideal. Sure. Uh, let's see, what was that? That was like... I don't know, I'd say we're maybe two or three minutes in. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. We're moving quick. Great. Sniven, Sniven will attack the statue. <laughs> Do you like to make an attack roll? Okay. Okay, you hit the statue. You do 11 damage to the statue. That's... Does it react in any way? Okay. Six different pieces fall off of it and fall to the floor. Okay. Right. You have desecrated the statue. Morden's <laughs> statue. It's like that's what's written underneath it too. Morden's favorite statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does, does this does this show up on Divine Sense now as desecrated this particular area? <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> All right, let's go find this abbess. I feel like she has a lot to answer for. I feel like we might all just be about to die. Like, should we not, like, maybe take a second? Do what? Are we going to wait and give them the rest of this? I mean, I guess, honestly, on one level, I feel like we've cleared out the entire friggin' monastery. So if you want to rest for resources, I understand that. But it feels like this is the I'm time. I'm worried we're yeah an an hour rest. I know it seems crazy right now. It's the I mean, breaking point. I, I, I get I get that it's a drawback, but like I feel like we're tapped. So like if we were to fight something difficult now, that we'd would... we'd be in huge trouble. And there's half half of the monastery still yeah untouched. Is there? Yeah, there's fifty percent we have not even looked at. So I, I could see see a strong argument for either way. Well, you know, I could go for some lunch. Yeah, I mean, the rest would be great, but... I mean, I like the whole not dying thing. Not dying is overrated. I, I guess... I guess I feel like... Uh, Do we look to Thaddeus for a decision here as well? That's an interesting point. I guess that is fair. This is, uh... This is Morden's temple. Defiled by, uh, this, this order. What would... Thaddeus do, not what would Kevin do. 
<laughs> what that is too. I need a wristband that says that, so I can always refer to it when I'm troubled. Yeah, that's like, true. Now on the wall path because you've learned it's a desecrated Moradin shrine, or are you like, fuck me, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it that way, you know, because both of those are legit concerns of a character right now. You're right. fighting for at least twenty minutes, almost solidly, and you're starting to feel, you know, fatigued, worn down, whatever. Um, although your god although just touched I, you. Right, my 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 god has uh, has reinvigorated me with energy. Although he forgot <laughs> to give me spell points, that um, bastard. I guess you can only ask for so much. Um, jeez, Kevin, that's scratchy. <laughs> right, <laughs> Thaddeus. Um, this is Thaddeus. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, Thaddeus wasn't saying that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's be clear. Um. So I will. Uh, I'll stand with my backs to the door. My backs. My back to the door for a minute, and uh, look at my companions and say, "Friends, I need to go forward. How fare you? Can you press forward, or do we need to rest?" We can heal a lot of health if we do a short rest. We don't need to heal a lot of health. No one is wounded except very few people are wounded right now. I'm uh, left. I'm half. Uh, I assume Tim is like half. I'm about half and a half. Okay, so we're all at half health. That, that's again. That's I, what I'm saying. It's not that what I would want to I do. I get from two a from a songs back when I short rest. I get spells back when I short rest. Like, I get I, all, all four bardic inspirations when I rest. Oh, I know. I so, get I get all of my spell slots back too. I totally understand the appeal of resting for an hour right now. But, but you the, attack for thirty damage a turn without a spell, and I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not arguing mechanically that it wouldn't be better. If, we, if it was just yes. a mechanic question, absolutely, you take every rest you can get. Of course you would. It is a narrative issue of, do we have time to chill for an hour? I'm like, put it. It just feels are like we we'll find an armchair, put in, our feet up. Like in character, are we intelligent enough to know that if we fight again, we're gonna die in character? It's not even. Yes, I am very aware that I have yes. stuck my blade songs. It... I'm a blade singer with no charges of blade song. I'm yes. not interested in combat at this didn't time. Didn't you use a blade song at the beginning of this, like standing outside of the? Didn't you blade song, blade song when we opened up the door? So you were like no, blade um, dancing for I like. I blade the... songed in an extensive combat, and then okay, I blade songed at the remember... start of the next one and got okay. knocked unconscious. I, put, I correctly remember. I put on a golden mask, blade song, and sing about bugbears. Yes, I remember that okay, too. So it's very clear that Sniven and Tim's vote is to short rest, and Chakolts is to not. So, Thaddeus, it's your choice. Let me, get, let me get straight. Filthy's vote is yeah, <laughs> is short rest. <laughs> Chick Cole's vote is move the fuck on. We, let's, gotcha. like, we don't have okay. time to like let the abbess get away or a lot more reinforcements arrive. Surely by now we've cleared out the bulk of this monastery in terms of Look, we've made noise. It's been 20 minutes. Pours of, waves of I enemies know, have been pouring in. Been I know you guys. An, hour is like, an extra hour is not a big deal. I know you guys haven't noticed. Because I'm very stealthy, and I'm great with animals. But I have an owl surveying this compound, and I have the entire time. Nothing's getting in and out of here without us knowing. And uh, that owl is vicious. They may not get away alive. <laughs> it's fair. Well, <sighs> while I would normally accept the counsel of the bloody wall liquor, I believe that... My friends require a rest, and Moradin will forgive the lack of energy and enthusiasm to charge forward without you at my side. I suggest <laughs> we stand ready to fight, but gather our, gather our energy and prepare ourselves for what could be a horrible, horrible case ahead. Right, there's, there's wisdom in those words. I'm, I'm going to abide by that. Okay, we can literally just rest right where we are. Why don't we rest in the room with the corridor so we can keep uh, the the stairs so we can keep an eye on anything coming out of that. Okay, okay, that works. I, I, I sort of did the place with the bread so we can eat the bread. I, we brought it with us. I have the whole loaf of fresh bread. Um, yeah, somebody should go back and get more snacks. That'll take two minutes of our of our rest. Yep. You don't have to be stationary for resting, so part of your short rest could be going and gathering the food. Perfect. Get back. Okay, cool. Then we'd like to do that. 
can we okay. search doing a short rest? Uh, then would maybe run into other people. Well, I guess we could search the areas we've already been. If that if that counts as non strenuous activity, like light, like kind of like you know, as we're munching, searching their rooms, and we're I'm okay with that too. That would, right. Two birds with one stone. I have to do that after. Would be nice. Okay, so we can all. What well. well I suppose we have to wait until after the short rest is successful to be able to get our stuff back, including healing, so... Yeah. That's what we're attempting to do, I guess. Right. Okay. Um, so, is short rest successful? Actually, so, um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to stay here and watch these doors, um, because it's the only way I know of that they can get at us, and let them do some wandering around. Um, okay, so, so, sorry, which which uh, which room are you all resting? I'll rest here with Thaddeus. Snip is going to rest here so that he can look through the door to the north. I thought we just had this whole conversation about searching yeah. as, we're, as we're resting. Are we not right. I'm not it? searching while we're resting. It's crazy. All right, whatever. I'll stay with you. So is, is, is anyone searching? Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, you said I don't need to be stationary for this, right? Nope. Okay. Then I'll be searching as we're resting. Okay. Um, in, uh, this room, you find a locked iron, uh, sorry, an unlocked iron coffer uh, beneath one of the bunks. There's 120 gold pieces, 90, that should say, silver pieces. Um, some... Vestments that you could judge being worth 40 gold. There's a leather pouch with two gold bracelets in that you would consider to be 30 gold. And two scrolls. Um, I don't know why it says Maximilian's Earth for us. I should say Earthbind. Oh, maybe that's the name of the spell, I guess. So three scrolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Earthbind, Maximilian's Earth and Grasp, and Trans Being Rock. Cool. Um, for any of the uh, for things that are worth gold equivalents, do you want us to hold on to those and try to sell them later, or do you want us for just like sanity's sake to convert them to gold as we pick them up? How do you want us to do that? It's up to you. Some people, like, I think it's perfectly legitimate that Tim's character might be like, I want to put this dress on. Um, so if someone wants to do some role play with all of the items or use it for a specific purpose, that's fine. Otherwise, if you want to just convert it to gold, that's fine as well. All right. So anybody, when we do looting then, just as a point of order for going forward, speak up if you want uh, any of the items that are just gold equivalents for like character fluff and we'll worry about the, uh, the, uh, the actual magic items later. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I think we should hold on to those. The leather pouch and the gold bracelets? I don't care about the leather pouch and... Gold well, bracelets. In, That's in what theory, I'm talking about. Yeah. Um. What? Um. Okay. The priestly vestments. I think we should hold on to right now. You should. Other totally than. Add... Go, on, go ahead. Go ahead. Other than what you found, um, and those keys, there's no other treasure in the rooms that you can see and explore. Okay. And and Tim, you can totally add some of those scrolls to your spell book. Yeah, well, I think um, only if I find out that they exist. <laughs> I think I don't currently know that they exist. No one knows. These are these are three campaign specific spells. Like these are from Princes of the Apocalypse. So feel free to Google them and look them up, so you know what they do. Um, if you want to add them in as a spell, like you can, I think you can spend gold to write them into your book, or you can mm -hmm. learn them from the scroll or something like that. So if you want to do that, that's special. Or gold or something. I don't know. Okay, we'll look it up yeah. between sessions because. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so did, you somebody, guys, did somebody you write right? all that down? I did. I just took all the gold into my inventory directly, and I kept the uh, the the um, priestly vestment as not converted to gold yet. I haven't put the, okay. the scrolls, though, so if Steve, you want to write those down for you, that would be good. Should we have, like, Oh, scrolls for me. Thank you, like, Jekyll. My pleasure. Well, should we have, like, a party loop thing? Yeah, I don't really care. Like, I just okay. was trying to keep track of that. We can figure that out after. Let's let's get our short light rest done. Is there more stuff that I'm discovering as I'm searching? No, that's it. Okay, I'll make you um, a handout now. Thanks. For your loop. Cool. All right. So we eat our bread. We sit and chat about, you know, like outside the abbess's doors about how we're gonna go cause havoc and whatnot, and say, God, it's nice of her to give us this rest. She's probably not even in there, really. All right. She's probably probably like you know handcuffed to the bed. Right. So, um, you did a song of rest, which gives everybody an extra. 
Yeah, hit only if you first. use one. So, so on a short rest, you can use hit dice to like heal yourself. Okay. And if you use one, then the bard thing gives you an extra one d six. Yeah. Adam, do we have to know if we make it through the rest successfully before we can start doing things like rolling HP? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess that was that turned out to be the right. Well, we'll see. It turned out to be the decision. Seems to be. Yeah, I'd like to roll um, a hit die. I need you to pick a room that you all eventually congregate in, though, and that's where you start from. Hallway. Right, right where it's I am. This hallway? In. Yeah. With the guard right that is. Right. Yes. Okay. With so. the desecrated guard wall. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so we roll that, and we add 1d6, I guess. My hit die are d4 as a wizard, right? Yep. You just click the hit, hit dice button, and it rolls it. Oh. Okay. And then I'm going to use the second hit, boy, uh, hit die as well. Apparently, they're d6 plus 2. Is it each die? No, it's just one. Okay. It's if, if you use one, then you get the extra okay. thing. That isn't right, is it? What isn't right? That hit dice? Which one? The rolls I'm doing in chat, the hit dice, d6 plus 2. Well, it's d6 right. as a wizard, not d4. Did you say d4? It's d6. Yeah, okay. So it's right. And I get the con modifier on them? Yep. 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 Oh, I didn't know that. When I get, I get so many things back on a short rest. I'm so pleased Plus with that. Sick. Yeah, same here. And I get blade song, and I get. Oh, this is great, guys. I know resting is really is really good when you have the time for it. And I get two spells. Well, Three spells. Arcane recovery is a once per long rest. So if you're using that. I yes, I am. Okay. It's a. I think it's a round down feature, right? I have it on my character sheet. I'll just read okay. it. Cool. Most stuff is around. Can anyone remember what time we arrived at the monastery? Roughly, was it in the morning or? It was in the morning. You guys didn't you rest? I feel like it's then like you got up, went up the trail. Right now. You yeah. followed the trail. You arrived at the monastery. So I'd say it's probably I don't know one p.m. Yeah, it was a it was a lot That's of traveling. That's my sense too. I mean, we didn't kill for that much. I mean, we killed a lot of people, but a short period of time. So sure. okay. efficient killers. We'll say one p.m. or twelve somewhere around there. Yeah. All right. And um, as a pally, I don't get Shit anything back. back. Is that true? Like I, think... I get my uh, I get my channel divinity, but otherwise nothing, as far as I can tell. What about vow of enmity? Is that a short? That's the uh, that's the channel divinity. Okay. Can I change my prepared spells on a short rest? I cannot, right? No. Um, can I finagle that and do it anyway, since I don't actually want to have web um, prepared? Ever. Like, that was never the intention. He's asking you, Adam. Oh, what yeah. was that? Sorry. Hey. Can I finagle the prepared spells thing and switch from web to absorb elements now? It's it would have been nice. It's because of the level up stuff. So, when. Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Because you would have technically done that before here because yeah. I got it wrong. So, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Should we open this door? Do we have time? Do we cut um, it here? Yeah, it's, it's a, that's a DM question. Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess what we're, we're the next hour, or I think this is, is it is saying? three. Yeah, this is the, this is the time that we have uh, booked out for this. Oh so. yeah, that's that's. Uh, I probably need to wrap up at five unless this is what like is, nothing nothing going forward. It is five now, and that's what I guess we're not right. looking to have the answer to the content. But is this a quick resolution, or should we leave this for the next time? You guys yeah, have got. A lot more to do. Perfect. Okay. All right. So then uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as we have. This is actually a fun one, a lot of combat, which is can be a sometimes not amazingly fun thing to watch. But hopefully, nevertheless, it was uh, entertaining for us, for you guys, as well as for us. And uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching.